Students, hi, this is Mr. Bob. This is the second of three videos that we are making to help you build your collision predictor app. If you're watching this video, hopefully you've already watched and completed the distraction part video. And so this is the reaction part video. So let's jump right into it. So notice I already have all the distraction phase completed and now I'm down here and trying to build the reaction part of the model. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, go over here to the A cells and I'm going to indicate one, two, three, four. I'm going to go down four cells and I'm going to merge those cells together like so. And uh, I will type in the words reaction because this is the part we're talking about here. Uh, notice I want to make that font the same size as the previous font. So in this case, it was 18 point and I will make that 18 point. Notice I just came up here to the font size. The other thing I want to do, two more things. I want to align this that is in the middle. Notice this is the little symbol right here. And then finally, I want to fill that. And I'm just going to fill it with a sort of salmon color here. So it looks like so. OK, so now this part is the moving while reacting part. And I'm going to moving. I'll be reacting. Bold that just like I bolded the previous one. Below that, I'm going to type in speed of vehicle in meters per second equals. Okay. And notice I don't necessarily need to, this is not necessarily, uh, this is an input. But notice it's the same input as, um, actually I should say it's a, in this case, it's a calculation as it was before. So I'm gonna put it here in this column and I'm just gonna reference the previous cell because if you remember the speed of the vehicle has not changed while the driver is distracted. So, so we can basically refer that previous cell and that's D5 again, just like so and that is meters per second. The next thing I need to type in is I need to type in um, the reaction time. That's an input. You did a little mini experiment in your class. And so that we're gonna put in as a green. And again, this varies depending on your class, your group. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a typical one that I saw was zero point three, five seconds. Okay. And so now that we have the speed of the vehicle in meters per second, the reaction time in seconds, again, the model that the mathematical model that best fits to just to figure out the distance the vehicle moves while the driver is reacting is the same one as the previous. It's basically, uh, it's constant velocity. So you're gonna take the speed and you're gonna multiply it by the reaction time, okay? So we can write, we can type in down here, distance vehicle moves while reacting. Um, hit that equal sign, come over here, al right align it, like we've done the other ones. And this is gonna be an output, it's gonna be a distance, okay? So I'm gonna fill that in with that light purple color. And I'm going to hit equals. This time I'm just going to type the cells. Notice my speed is D10 times. My reaction time is C11. If you prefer to click on those cells, you can certainly do that. And again, I want to clean up the number of decimal places I display here. So look something like that. I'll put meters here. And so there you have it. We've now created or constructed the model for the reaction part of the problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks so much.